Good afternoon, and welcome to More Than Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today, we will be finishing up our Unicron Trilogy on Transformers Armada Unicron Trilogy Unicron. So, here is Unicron Trilogy Unicron in his uh, planet mode. He is an epic planet. It leans slightly to the left because somehow one of the ratchets on his hip didn't get ratcheted right, and I've tried to fix it, but there's really no way to get enough leverage to do that. Once this guy's kind of in planet mode, the only way to fix any part of his transformation is to pull him out of planet mode and fix it. And I just, uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. Um, I had a lot of work putting him into planet mode yesterday for the Blindformers video. It, it got gnarly. It was definitely not a fun day of shooting, but it got done. And it was excellent. I actually, you know, learned a few things about this Unicron that I hadn't realized it, or, or had just completely forgotten and uh, figured out how to fix a problem with Unicron that I've had since the beginning, which was somebody had put, the person that owned it before me had put the uh, little L-shaped clasps that connect these front hemispheres to the uh, to the ring joints. Uh, they had put those on in reverse. They were actually backwards. So they were inside of the hemisphere. And I didn't think to try that until I was on this video. And I was like, I need something that's shaped like an L. And I looked on the inside and like, well, that's shaped like an L. Why don't I just see if I, that works? You know, maybe I can pull it out. I pulled it out and it fit right in the other one. Of course, that was a trashed video because soon after that, yeah, that was the one video where everything went perfect. I learned something cool. The cat showed up multiple times and gave me love. It was wonderful. Ended the video, found out I only recorded three minutes because I had run out of memory on my phone to record with. It just <sighs> fail. There's an instant fail right there. Can't come back from that one, so you gotta redo it. Um, so let's talk about this amazing figure today. This really cool and unique thing. Don't mind, it's lean. And I, I tried to fix it, but uh, like I said, it's gonna bother me mostly. Uh, but we'll talk about this really cool and unique thing that nobody ever expected to actually happen. Um, we can put him up on his crap. Gunball, where did you go? Gunball, come back. Uh, for some reason, the gunball didn't want to just stay in its little spot. It's supposed to have a little... It's supposed to just kind of fit in there and not come out. But I guess it, you know, everything gets a little bad over time. Let's showcase this fun... We'll go over the play features first, because it does have a couple in this mode. First play feature is you can clasp these, and the mouth of Unicron can clamp shut on things that are in there. Like your finger out. That's pretty fun. I think I always thought that was a cool little trick because that was a big thing in the original Transformers movie. Unicron would do his whole mouth thing and he'd fly around like this. And you know, you get this ring of energy that would glow around him when he'd consume an entire planet. I, I like that. It's like the ring is his energy storage location. Um, it is a bit of a bulky design for the planet mode. The planet mode is not as... Um, as round as you would like it to be, and it's completely flat on the bottom. It's got a lot of robot kibble on the bottom. Um, this, this planet is not meant to be stored in a location that you can look up at it. Um, and the best way to try and store it would be in um, this mode, but it's not even that great because you've got these crazy legs hanging out, or the feet hanging out behind the clasper things. So I understand looking at this guy and playing with this guy again, and actually, you know, deciding to do a video on him to talk about him, uh, why the HasLab Unicron, you know, even existed. You know, it's just like this guy, he almost got Unicron, but it's not there. It's not quite there, but it's definitely the closest any of us who uh, can't afford that other one can afford. Because, I mean, there's, there's two Unicrons out there. More if you count the off-brand ones, uh, the knockoffs. But those knockoffs are usually just going to be as expensive as the HasLab. So, if you want something that's a Unicron that's not as expensive as HasLab, then Armada Unicron's your jam. Um, he comes with this little ball guy, and uh, the ball gun here, dead end. He has this little little spot. It's like a crater on the on Unicron's shell, and he just fits in there perfectly well, and he hangs out in there, and he can rotate left and right. And I, I think it's kind of neat. I just wish uh, he held in there better, and maybe there was a cool Minicon uh, effect. 
like with um, Tidal Wave or whatever that guy's name is, Tempest or something. Anyway, uh, the guy that became Three Boats, he had a cool little feature where his Minicon could actually ramjet, actually uh, had a little elevator and a canopy he could hide under. And that was kind of neat. But uh, Unicron's little buddy here doesn't get anything. He just hangs out in the open. You know, Unicron, Unicron's like, you got to get good or die. Uh, so there's a spot. Actually, we're going to put it back. There it goes. The pegs for these Minicons are similar yet different from the pegs from, um, you know, the, the War for Cybertron. Hi, Cream, what's up? Would you, would you like to be grasped, huh? Do you want to be grasped? Unicron wants to eat you, Cream. No? You're not having that? <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about some of the details on this Unicron. I've blathered on enough about the other parts of it. The Unicron ring is pretty cool. I like the way it feels. It's got some nice textures to it. Uh, if you uh, if you were like me and were able to see the movie, I, I watched the movie years and years ago. Uh, I never, I didn't watch it when it came back to theaters. I just didn't get to the theaters that weekend. But uh, it's okay because I've already, I've watched it so many times. I can quote a lot of lines from it. It's it's pretty cool. Now the news don't touch that dial and eliminate even the toughest stains. Eliminate even the toughest stains. Kill the Grand Poobah, Unicron. <laughs> I like that, kill the Grand Poobah. What are you, what are you attacking over here? Um, so, detail wise, this thing's got a lot of fun sculpted details. You can feel on the front end, he's got these weird planet chunks, and these other bits that are connected to his planet. It's kind of a bit of chaos going on on his, on his uh, planet side. But then again, he's a god of destruction and chaos, so of course his planet mode would be kind of chaos. You never really... You, you know, you see Megatron land here. I mean, he lands, like, you know, near the near this crazy mouth thing. And the uh, when, it, when it talks, it actually slings him down, and he slides down the side of this planet. And it's all just steel. It's a, it's, it's a Dyson Sphere planet. That's what it is. It's a hollow planetoid that's made out of metal, and everything inside is machines and mechanisms to make it run. Uh, it's crazy complicated. Not like Cybertron, where Cybertron is that, but isn't that at the same time, because Cybertron has cities around it. This guy doesn't. This guy is just straight up a uh, force of destruction. He is Galactus, except in uh, Transformers version. He is Transformers Galactus. Uh, now let's talk more about articulation. No articulation. We're done with our what, one, one or two pieces. His little, his little claspers move, so he can, he can nom on planetoids and little moons. And this, uh, this guy moves around in here. And a little, uh, dead end gun, ball gun. He moves. But that, that's about it that moves. That's, uh, no. Not much more to say about this guy, except that he's a beast. He's heavy. And he's really hefty. When, uh, when you've transformed him into, into planet mode, he does take up a lot of space. Let's see, uh. Cream, are you laying on my pad that I need? You are. Give, give this here. No, get off of it. Cream, you are directly on top of the. Me no, don't bite me. I'm trying to get the measuring pad. You're on top of the measuring pad. I need, I need the measuring pad. So cat. Okay, let's see. Width wise, this guy is. Yeah. That is a diameter of at least 12 inches on this thing. Doing rough, rough, gross rough estimations there. But I'm going to go ahead and say that's about 12 inches in diameter. The thing's height in planet mode is actually not that, not that big. Boom. There's his height in planet mode. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23 studs tall in planet mode. And finally, let's get the cliff jumper out here. Cliff jumper. Cliff jumper. Uh, ah, there you are. Cliff jumper. He stands on top. He can be eaten by the uh, things, but definitely this planet is not large enough to consume cliff jumper. And again, it does. It's, it's, it's a crazy juxtaposition. This car. You know, on on over this hole that in these these little grasper hands that are so large they're like the size of continents they can just grab a planet and, and pin it in place and it's just this car 
Cliff Jumper's now the planet car. I knew you would grow big one day, Cliff Jumper. We all hoped you would. Um, you click Cliff Jumper over here on the uh, ring, and that's just about it. There's plenty of places to put minicons all over this thing, and uh, there's the missile pods that I'm missing the missiles to that you can uh, put the minicons on in the back, and then these missiles would just shoot straight up into the sky. Uh, that's kind of how I lost some of them. <laughs> but I think I've blathered on about this guy long enough. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, I know I'm, I'm not really the best at the YouTube. I'm not really the best guy doing these videos. Uh, there's plenty of better people out there. Uh, but I thank you for watching, uh, those of you who do. Uh, it really makes me happy to know that at least somebody's watching this stuff. And um, here's hoping that uh, my average for videos gets above 10 again. I mean, it was at one point above 10, and I don't know what happened. I guess I may have pissed off one of my viewers or something, but that's sad. Uh, I really hope it gets above 10 again, because you know, having an average of 10 views per video would be quite awesome. But thank you for watching, and please tune in next time, where we will be talking about, um, well, we'll be talking about a lot of things next week. We've got... Uh, X-Men Legends, or uh, Marvel Legends, X-Men Siren, we'll talk about, and then um, we're going to bring up one of the Transformers that I wanted to talk about, but decided to pass on for now because I wanted to do Unicron. So, next week, it's going to be a fun week, we're going to be doing some Transformers, we're going to be doing some Marvel Legends, and um, I know, weird, I'm going to be talking about Marvel Legends again, but yeah, there were a few Marvel Legends that I actually wanted to get, I know. I'm surprised too, but you know that that's what it is. When you when you come out with a half person, half tank, I'm gonna get it. I, I just I like me a tank, you know. That was what this uh, this new Marvel Legends Haslab did not have going for it. Now if Ronnie Reyes had driven a, a a car with tank treads, I'd be all over that. I'd be all over a car with tank treads. I tell you that. But till next time, thanks for watching. You want to say anything, Cream? Hmm? No? You just want to nap?